up, Wichita? Nick Miller here. What's this? What do we have here? It's a bunch of water. And what do we have here? Water crystals. Those are going right in there. So remember that. Okay. So, take a look here. This is my dad. And this is my mom. Isn't she beautiful? Inside and out, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I know exactly what I'm getting my mother for Mother's Day. But do you know what you're getting your mother for Mother's Day? That's what I thought. But, I've got two ideas you can steal from me, okay? Here they are. One. Color. And two. Butterflies. Yes, butterflies. Women love that kind of stuff. They just do. I, I don't think that's changed recently. All right, so I can help you out here with these two things. Uh, first, you're gonna need to pick a container. Second, you're gonna need to choose a color. And third, you're gonna need to choose an environment in which these flowers are gonna thrive in. If you guys wanna make these at home, feel free. I put uh, some links down below in the caption so you guys can see where I got all my materials and uh, yeah so here's how I, I make our pots here here we have a flowering ba basket I've cut holes all the way around uh, this fabric here and this is going to allow our hanging basket to have more of a three-dimensional shape with flowers coming out the bottom so you don't have to see the, the ugly bottoms to these hanging baskets and what we're going to do is just pop these in squeeze these in like that they're going to rest right here and we'll, we'll pile soil right on top of it we also have petunias we'll stick these in here have them coming off the side a little bit And then we have salvia as well, which is a nice big red plant. This will be our our focal plant, which will grow upwards. So these are going to grow out a little bit more. Uh, petunias, they like to grow out and droop over too as well, but uh, our salvia is going to grow up. So I'm not going to spend much time perfecting this in front of you and in front of the camera, but I'm going to show you the difference between a good looking hanging basket and a good growing one and a great one. This is going to be a great one. So you remember that bucket I showed you earlier with all the water in it? Look at it now. I put those crystals in. These are water or soil moist crystals. They are like water bottles that the uh, flowers can take sips out of when they get thirsty or if they have too much water they can just fill them right back up and store it for a later time so what I do is I, I put a little bit of this in with the soil and that's gonna make our plant more drought resistant throughout the whole summer and these are gonna bloom throughout the whole summer if you take care of them uh, we also have fertilizer slow release fertilizer because as you water these plants, every time you water, the nutrients are going to be sucked out of them. Uh, so we want this to be given food throughout the entire summer. So this is going to be a slow release fertilizer. I'm going to put a little bit of that in here. And then we have soil, just regular old topsoil that I'm going to mix in. with compost. Compost uh, raises the acidity level in the soil and all these, most of these plants do a lot better in, if the soil is higher in acidity. So this is going to make the environment which your plants are growing in uh, more inhabitable and make them grow you know, twice as big as the retail stores have them. So this is going to look sloppy because I'm going to rush in it here and I'm not going to put enough in here with these two cups I'm going to need some more 
but I've got the finished product right behind you here. So just by adding compost to our dirt and the water moist crystals, instead of watering your hanging basket every day or every other day, you are now watering it once a week. Okay? So that's low maintenance. Low maintenance. Your mom wants low maintenance. Okay? Here we have two hundred, fifty, twenty dollars. Uh, the large pot we have comes with the lantana, which attracts butterflies. This is the only pot that comes with the lantana, the butterfly secret ingredient. Okay? These other pots won't have that. But these other pots will have all these other plants that you've seen um, so far. The geraniums, uh, some might have petunias, salvia, and uh, impatiens. Over here, we have the large and the small hangers. Uh, the large hanger is going to have basically everything that the small hanger would have, only with more of them. Uh, and it's going to be filled up to the brim, overflowing. Uh, throughout the summer. We have 65 and 115. So if you'd like for me to install these in your front porch, back porch, deck, driveway, give us a call by this Friday the 8th. Alright? Friday the 8th. So that I can deliver them by Saturday the 9th. So that your mama can be happy on Sunday the 10th. Out. You may